We're back here. We're back. Gary Mazarov, Adrian Macarino, Pablo Farge, Evan Pritchard. We're here at show court. This is the third of the eight quarterfinal matches. Thank you for tuning in to the IRF Network, folks. Rodrigo Montoya serving to Alejandro Landa. Point scored because it's rally scoring for Landa. 1-0 coming in to serve. Best of five, 15 point games. If it goes the fifth, it would be 11 points, win by two. Each of the first four win by one. The winner will earn a berth in the semis tomorrow. Top seed here, Landa, world champ, reigning world champ. Speaking of worlds, we'll have the 2022 version in San Luis Potosi next month. 2-0, Landa. Good start. Coached by Jim Durham, who resides in California. Landa resides in El Paso, Texas. Rodrigo's from Chihuahua. Roland Keller from Bolivia is our head official. Nick Lobb left. Left side wall. Front wall. Right side wall. Kiss. Three wall boast. Winner. Montoya serving 1-2. Game one. Around. Ball live. Landa wins that rally with a forehand kill into the right corner. Enjoying a 3 1 lead in game one, early in game one. Thank you to the LOC, all of the helpers, the volunteers that have created such a fine venue here at the University of Alabama, <laughs> Birmingham branch. We're at the Student Recreation Center. Eddie Meredith and his group have fabricated this beautiful show court. Ball down. Montoya coming in to serve. One point deficit, 2-3. We've yet to go five games in the two plus days we've been here. Uncontested return by Landa. Backhand cross court pass. So he has earned point four in game one, four two. showing his disgust, losing that rally. So it's 3-4. Congratulations to Mario Mercado, representing Colombia. Angelica Barrios, representing Bolivia. They have earned a spot in the semis tomorrow. So tomorrow, day four, final day. Semis in the morning, finals in the afternoon, plus third place matches which is not typical in IRF play. We usually award two bronze, but the third place matches will be held. <laughs> Keller, our head official, calls it short. Two serves in IRF play. Second serve. C. 
Oh, nice. Pinch winner, left side, Landa. 6-3, game one. Put away, Montoya. This is the 11th edition of the World Games. First one, 1981 in Santa Clara, California. We're back in the States. It took 41 years. Top. See the exchange. Set up. Variety of shots there. Last shot put away by Landa. So he's earned his seventh point at 7-4 game one. Once again, we don't want to overdo it, but many of you don't know this is rally scoring. Server and receiver can earn a point. <laughs> Keller calls it short. So there's an appeal. Each player has two available appeals. Short called, Landa appeals it. Keller will look at the video monitor and make a decision. Does he keep his call? Does it? So, call stands. One of the two appeals used by Landa. He has one remaining in this game. Let's see, right side. Pass. Not a good serve there. He's upset with himself. Toya serving 5-7, game one. Flat right corner, Montoya, 6-7. Skip ball, we're tied at seven. Uh, turned around, used that, that ball kissed off the deep left corner. And uh, turned for a forehand and rolled it in, not out. Another skip. Much to the pleasure of the viewing audience here. Montoya has taken a one point lead. From 4 7, it's now 8 7 in favor of Montoya. He's pounding that serve left side. Amping it up. It came up short. Same serve, right side. Ball live. We get Montoya. Oh, wow, folks. Warning technical. So no 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 reduction of a point. When he does that, if he does it again, it would be a we have a replay? Saved by Montoya.
Skip ball. Landa. It's been one theme of this this game one. Landa takes a timeout. He's entitled to one. So he's used his timeout up. And we'll come back in one minute. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. He'll give it up. back folks show court here world games racquetball Birmingham Alabama game one quarterfinal Montoya Mexico serving to Landa USA 10-7 game one Landa has used up his one timeout for this game That's impressive, folks. We'll see if it's a hinders call. <coughs> so the call by Keller, the official, is rally ending shot. There's an appeal by Montoya. He's appealing that he could have gotten to that ball, but he converged with Landa. If the call stands, it'll be a point for Landa. If it's reversed, It'll be replayed and Montoya will serve. So, Keller overruled his own call. No appeal used by Montoya. And Alex talking to the ref, which is not proper protocol, play ball. He already had a warning, he should be careful. Next time he'll lose a point. Short. Comes back with that Z lob again. Up top. Landis shoots it down the left side. Montoya there to and the rally with a left side wall, front wall combo. 11-7, game one. Momentum have shifted from earlier. Montoya now has the momentum. 12-7, game one. Best of five, win by one to 15. If it goes uh, to the fifth game, it'll be 11 points, win by two. It's a long serve. The ball hit the back wall on a fly. So second serve. Same serve on that second serve. Another skip. Many unforced errors by Landa. Needs to get a little momentum, even if he loses this game. Get some momentum going into the second game. So there's a six point deficit, six point lead for Montoya, 13 7. Here in Birmingham. That's impressive. Power serve, weak return, right side pass. Game point number one. Montoya from Mexico. Mm -hmm. 
False serve, came up short. Let's see if he goes with the reverse C, right side. Answers yes. And conceded game one, that was Landa. You're watching the IRF Network World Games Racquetball here in Birmingham, Alabama, USA. Rodrigo Montoya, one game to zero, 15-7 over Alejandro Landa. We'll be back in two minutes. Stay tuned, folks. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. He'll give it up. We're back, folks. Mazarov with Macrino, Iwasa, and Prichard over to my right. Best statistician in the world. We're here, show court. Birmingham, Alabama for the 2022 edition of the World Games. It's the 11th time the World Games have been held. Sixth time for racquetball. 1981 was the first, the inaugural World Games in Santa Clara, California. Racquetball was part of it. And it's taken 41 years to come back to the States. We're so happy to be here with the Southern hospitality in the largest city in Alabama. So game two, Rodrigo Montoya, Mexico. One game to zero over Alejandra Landa, USA. Landa serves game two. 15 points, rally scoring, win by one. <laughs> Left up pinch by Montoya. Landa took advantage of it. Both these players, Alexis, pounding the ball. One, yeah, I, one zero, excuse me, go ahead. Two really great players here on the court right now. So there should be an appeal. But there can't be because with the new rule, Landa can appeal his last shot or his opponents. That's it. No appeal recognized. 1-1, one, one, game two. Long ball, second serve. Land already had one technical warning. The next blow up will result in a reduction of a point. Oh, that's impressive. Deep court, splat winner with the backhand, Montoya, 2-1. Folks, if you think that's an easy shot, take a few racquetballs, put on some eye guards, get on a court and try that shot. So the call is a legal return. Montoya is appealing that it was short. Keller, our head official, is looking at the camera right now. The 
call was legal return point for Orlando. If it stands, Montoya will lose one of his two appeals. If it's overturned, it'll be a replay. Call stands, so Montoya has one appeal left. Montoya certainly not a <laughs> not happy with that call. Two two. Put away Montoya with the backhand. Three two coming in to serve. Game two. He won the first fifteen seven. A berth in the semis awaits the winner of this match. That'll be tomorrow morning. Short serve. Orlando Keller from Bolivia is our head ref. Second serve. Errant overhead attempt by Landa. Not great body language, Alexis. No, I'm uh, not used to seeing Alex look like this while he plays. He's usually a little bit more aggressive, moves a little bit better, can shoot fantastic when he wants to, but this game, it just doesn't seem like he's all in it. Let's see if he can turn it around. Meanwhile, that was a good ceiling ball. Not retrieved by Montoya. So the score is 3 4, game two. Landa, one game deficit, 0 1. Short. Nick Lobb, ceiling ball. Left up splat attempt, put away by Montoya with the forehand. So Montoya has a two point lead in this game, 5 3. High Z lob right side. And right side wall, front wall winner, Landa. Different twist on that serve. And it paid dividends. Kind of a defensive Z with that forehand. Montoya took it early and set Landa up for a put away. Changing the pace. Meanwhile, we have a tie score at five, second game. Same serve. Montoya was ready for that one, Alexis. He was. He was waiting for it. Great racket prep for Montoya. Moving really well. Killing 95% of these balls. Ball converged the two corners, deep left side wall and back wall in the corner, I should say. And uh, Landa couldn't handle it. The point, Montoya. Landa puts it away. A little more animation on that in a positive way with his footwork, racket prep. Starting to play like himself again. Yeah. Keeping his words to himself. So it's 6 7. Ball live. Montoya left side. Wow. Great rally. Alex out of gas. He'll come to his defense. He's been ill uh, last week.
trying to get his strength back. Rallies like that, it's not gonna, they're not gonna help him. No. I just hope nothing happens on the court. 8-6 Montoya, he won game one, 15-7. Oh, that's nice. Just trying to pull extra gas out of that tank. But he's down one game to zero. He's going to have to win three games to earn a berth in the semis. One time out in IRF play now, folks. Short serve called. C serve on Montoya. Left up shots, rally ending shot, left side. Wall, front wall, Montoya. Also known as a pinch. So we have a 9-7 lead in game two, Montoya serving. Rally scoring, win by one. Ball live, nope, didn't make it. Cross court pass. Rodrigo tried to save it off the back. Not enough impetus. Birmingham, Alabama, University of Alabama, Birmingham campus, 22,000 students. the pearl of the state. Z serve. Left up, Montoya. Pounds. Cross court forehand winner. seen him hit a serve out a ball and a skip serve yet this this match we did last match twice yep Alexis I think that's uh, in the back of his mind <laughs> saying don't hit this don't hit this don't hit the floor it's rare yet it happens I've been there pass right side nobody home 11th point for Montoya, Class racquetball here, folks. Ball live. Montoya, right side. Winner. Landa leaving his feet. Sprawled out. So Landa takes a timeout. He's used his one timeout for this game. When we resume play in a minute, Montoya will be serving 12-8. You're on the IRF network. We're here in Birmingham. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham? Give a big round of applause. He'll give it up.
Gary and Alexis, we're back here at the racquetball venue, University of Alabama, Birmingham, 2022 World Games. Rodrigo Montoya serving 12, Alejandro Landa receiving eight, game two. It's 13 8 now. Rodrigo, if he closes this out, We'll be up two games to zero. First one to win three will get a berth in the semis tomorrow. Next up on this court will be Paola Longoria and Carla Munoz. Mexico and Chile, respectively. Ladies quarterfinal. See Lob. Ball broke, one of, one of the few gearbox black balls that have broken over this, these two plus days. Thank you, Rafael Filippini and Gearbox, the official racquetball of the International Racquetball Federation, the Gearbox Black. So that's a replay, first serve, Montoya, 13-8. Wide angle winner. Game point number one for Montoya here in game two. Ball live, Landa. Ball down. Rodrigo Montoya, Mexico, two games to zero. Lando will try and stay in the match when we return in two minutes. We're on the IRF network here in Birmingham. Stay with us, folks. We appreciate you tuning in. Welcome back, everybody. We are game number three. Montoya in the win, in the lead here with uh, two wins. He's got 15-7 uh, the first game and 15-8 the second. He will start by serving.
It's a little slippery on the court here. You now have a quick towel timeout. Player safety is always our number one priority here. Thank you to all the volunteers that are here this week, helping keeping these courts in pristine condition. Unforced error there by Montoya. Now tied 1-1. Great cross court pass there by Montoya. Get there by Londa. Reverse pinch. Perfectly executed shot there by Montoya. Start strong here for Montoya. Leads four to two. We're gonna have to see a bit more energy here from Londa if he wants to take this to game five. And fight for a chance to be in the semifinals tomorrow. Towel time out here. Thank you everybody for joining us. Don't forget that the IRF is now part of the Facebook Stars program. The Stars is a donation to our athletes. All of the proceeds do go to them in prize money and helping create and put on these big events. Donate if you can or like and share our feed. of a ceiling ball there. Londa was able to pinch that up at the forehand side. Londa takes his first lead of this game. Five serving four. A little bit more energy now. He's moving pretty good. Isn't killing a whole lot, but is keeping the ball in play and waiting for Montoya to make those unforced errors. Let's stick with this half lob. Lob Z, sorry. Wow. Oh. Amazing.
amazingly executed there. 38 feet cross court rollout. Welcome back, Gary. Thank you. I just completed my five mile run. I feel invigorated now. Energized and ready to go. Indeed. left that one up. <laughs> That's oh, impressive. Just... Takes a lot of control to cut your swing in half and just use your nice push hands into the left hand corner. Indeed. Montoya trying to tie this third game up at six. He's serving five, six. He leads two games to zero. The winner gets a berth into the semifinal tomorrow morning. We'll start at nine in the morning again. And we'll complete play with the finals, semifinals, finals, and third place matches, men and women. Next up on this court will be Longoria and Munoz. Longoria from Mexico. And Munoz from Chile. Paula Longoria won the World Games the last time racquetball was part of it. Remember 2017 in Poland, Rokla, racquetball was not a sport. They didn't have any courts. So the previous one for racquetball was in Cali, Colombia in 2013. And her paisan, Polo Gutierrez, was the men's champ. All right, just to recap on that appeal there, Londa thought that uh, Montoya's serve was a skip serve and not a short serve, but it was short, so it is a second serve and a loss of the ball. Land a deep court. To replay. One. She hit him, hit him up with the technical. Stay on the court or you're going to get a technical. Overzealous Landa here. Shouldn't be allowed to discuss that. The call was made. Play ball. Yep. His emotions will get the best of him. That ball exploded at the feet of Montoya. Handcuffed him. Point for Landa. So Landa takes a two point lead in game three, seven five. Trying to force a game four and hopefully tie break. Great anticipation by Montoya, but he couldn't handle that ball on that wall, Alexis. Rolled right out. There wasn't too much he could do with it. 8 5, game three. C serve. That's impressive. The racket head speed he generated on that previous shot just to keep it live. And then the next shot he puts it away. So we have a towel timeout here. Each player gets one formal timeout, and then who knows how many towel timeouts. Hopefully not many. Landa urged on by his coach, Jim Durham. Stay calm, stay cool. Win this game, force a fourth game, and, and then a tie break, Alex. 
the cues of his coach, Jim Durham from California. Fresno, California. Mexico does not have a formal coach here. For racquetball, the World Games is individual play. It's not a team uh, competition. Singles only. Top 16 men and women. Days one and two, we played the round of 16. And now we're in the quarters, day three, and the semis and finals tomorrow, day four. Thursday, we'll start squash in the same venue. Tug of War and lacrosse are also on this campus, UAB. 34 sporting disciplines, over 100 countries represented. I'm still counting the number of European countries, Alexis. I think they're all represented. Yep. Azerbaijan, Uzbekistan, Latvia, Italia, you name it. They're here. Looks like we're going to have a quick uh, timeout here. So we'll stay here. It's Gary Mazaroff, Alexis Iwasa, Adrian Macrino, Evan Pritchard's our statistician. Pablo Farhe, our producer. Happy birthday, Pablo. University of Alabama, Birmingham. They call it the pearl of the state. It's a medical center and research. About 22,000 students. But almost half the size of the larger University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa. So we resume play now. This is game three of the men's quarterfinal between Landa, USA, and Montoya, Mexico. Landa serving. He has a 9-5 lead. First to 15, rally scoring wins the game. Back to that Z left side, ceiling return. Wide angle. Oh, nice, off the short hop. Montoya, sidewall, front wall winner. Valuable timeout for Montoya. 6-9, game three. Lob right, with the Z angle, and a point. Cuts the lead in half, two point deficit. High Z lob, up top, this hit. And it cost Alex. Sloppy second shot there, Alexis. Yeah, if he doesn't want to fully swing on that, he should just uh, do a nice uh, ceiling ball into the back here, get Montoya out of the center of the court, move him around a little bit more. That's better. Pay dividends. Ball barely kissed off the back wall off that ceiling ball by Landa. Enticed Montoya to shoot it, which he did. Set up Landa for the next shot put away. Oftentimes, these rallies become similar to a chess game, anticipating the next move. See ball. Now we have, again, a 1970s rally. Multiple ceiling balls. Montoya not able to keep that ball in play. Landa, three-point three lead, 11-8, game three. Wiping off the moisture from his eyewear. So, 
He saw Montoya poaching, tried to push one along the right side wall, came up short. Now he goes back to the Z. Opens up the right side for Montoya's forehand. Run around and backhand for a forehand, Alexis. Outright winner. It's a smart shot from Montoya. You could see Wanda was standing a little bit too far over on the left. It's a good use of the court. Reverse up, cost him. Left that pinch, left side up. Montoya there to get down the right side wall pass. A lot of moisture on the court. So now it's a one point deficit. Montoya serving, trying to tie it up and ultimately close out this match. He leads two games to zero over Lando. Z lob right. Oh, nice. That is a tough That's shot. impressive. Deep wallpapered along that right side wall, and he reverses it into the left corner. Not very many people can do that. No, no ma'am. Twelve ten. Londa trying to close this out. Force a game four. Side wall, front wall, splat winner. Montoya from 39 feet. Eleven serving twelve. Backhand reverse pinch winner, Landa. Point number 13. Will the tide change? No pun intended here in Alabama. Same serve. Left up. So Keller, Keller stop play, dead ball hinder. Dead ball hinder folks means no change in score, no harm done. We'll replay the point for serve. Thirteen eleven again, Landa serving. Moderate Z serve. Set up. Anticipated by Landa. Alive, back wall set up. Oh, it's impressive, folks. Great rally between those two. World games, world class athletes. Meanwhile, Landa, game point number one in game three. Tremendous athleticism, court presence, racket preparation, execution. Same serve, up top. A 
Alejandro Landa. Some people counted him out, not him. He comes back and wins game three, 15-11, forcing a game four. We'll be back in two minutes. You're watching Racquetball at its finest on the IRF Network. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a bigger round of applause. He'll give it up. He's on the of Birmingham. everybody we are now game four Montoya won the first 15-7 won the second 15-8 Londa took the third 15-11 Londa will start off with serving here both of these gentlemen are fighting for a spot in tomorrow's semi-final match Great start to this fourth game here. What's your pick on this one, Alexis? I think we're only going to do four games today, Gary. Okay. Will this be the first tiebreak of the tournament, folks? Landa came back, took that third game, has a 1-0 lead against Montoya. Pass winner right side, Montoya 1-1, game four. As Alexis said, Winner of this match gets a berth in the semis tomorrow. Short. He comes back with that Z to the right. Alex goes up top. What a hinder. Stay on the court. So 
So avoidable call against Landa. Point scored for Montoya, 2-1 lead. Montoya serving. Short. Continue the theme with the Z lob to the right. Up top, this hit. It cost left side wall, front wall combo, Alexis. 3 1. Fantastic start from, for Montoya here, this fourth game. He's been pounding his first serves, which is different from the previous game. He was hitting first serve lobs. But when you can do what he just did, continue it. Yep. It's a lot easier to hit one serve than to be in a 20 shot rally. Pace, depth. Angle, great equation. Wrap around by Montoya. Landa, backhand reverse pinch into the right corner. Earns the serve, gets a point, so it's 2-4, game four. Will we see the first tie break in this tournament? It would be 11 points, win by two. Oh, nice. Deep court splat from his left ear. It's a fantastic shot. Try that sometimes, folks. Take 100 balls on the court, try 100 shots. See if you can get two of them to do that. In a row or just in general? In general. Oh, okay, might two, be doable. Two percent. <laughs> Okay, two bounces called by Keller. Two available appeals. Keller reviewing the monitor. If his call stands, Montoya will lose one of the two appeals. Overruled, so he got to it, replay it. No appeal used. No change in score, 3-4. C serve. Point scored by Montoya and he earns the serve, so it's 5-3. That ball rolled out rather than in, uh, Alexis. Not one of his three of the tournament skip serves. Back and forth, ball cracked. So the contact had no, no bearing on the outcome. The call should be point because the ball cracked out. Point scored, 6-4. So a correction on the part of Keller, but he got it right, it's 6-4. Folks, this shouldn't happen. He gave him a warning in the first game. There should not be a discussion here. Arguing with the ref isn't gonna change his call. You have two appeals for a reason. Keller, the head official, is reviewing the monitor again.
No appeal used by Landa. Montoya will serve. The score remains five, Montoya three, Landa. Dead ball hinder, replay, no change in score. down indecisive there he let the ball go to the back never came out 6-3 short serve called serve as previously ball live oh nice retrievability three gets put away shot winner for Montoya it's incredible racquetball here in Birmingham at the World Games 2022 14 countries represented in racquetball. Mexico, USA here. Canada, Dominican Republic, Guatemala, Costa Rica. Chile, Argentina, Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia, Ireland, Japan, and Korea. Put away, great footwork, Landa. So, four serving seven in game four. Okay, so the last ra uh, shot of the rally appeared to be down. Keller, the head official, calls a replay. Montoya is appealing that call, saying it was down. All stands. So Montoya has used an appeal. Land is serving. Four seven. Four, seven. Left side wall, backhand, pass. Land a winner. 5-7, game four. Coming back to that Z to the left. It's a tough serve. Ball converged in the corner. Deep left side. 
point a serve. 6-7, one point deficit here in game four. World Games. Same. Fooled us. Came right side, came short. Come back to the Z. Take some pace off of it. Oh, he skipped it in. Left up pinch right side by Landa. Montoya puts it into the floor. So we have an empate 7-7 seven, seven in game four. Much to the joy of this crowd here, Alexis. Yes, you can hear them cheering, getting a little bit more enthusiastic now as the week goes on. Kill shot right side with the backhand. Montoya comes in to serve, having earned a point on that rally. 8-7. I want to thank the local organizing committee again for a tremendous job in keeping the facility neat, clean, and safe. Short. Thank the IRF, Osvaldo Maggi, Luke St. Ange, Mauro Grandio, and the staff, U.S. Racquetball, Mike Waddell. Ball live. Oh, my. Landa, the cat is back, rolls the last shot out, point. So, fo so folks, Two appeals, available appeals for each player per game. There are no lines, people. The referee is using the video replay to make the ultimate decision. If the ref's call stands, the player loses that appeal and we're down to one. And a, Landa scores the point. An appeal can only be for the previous shot of you or your opponent. So it's not like yesterday where you can appeal a serve eight days later. Well, everybody has their opinion and we're testing this out. The reviews thus far in two plus days have been very strong. And uh, there are a number of reasons we can elaborate later as to why this system versus uh, two persons on either side of the back wall indicating a thumb up or a thumb down. Meanwhile, on the court, 9-8 favor of Landa. He's trying to force a tie break, which would be the fifth game, 11 points win by two. Oh, nice. So Montoya will have none of that. He rolls the ball out, ball out left corner. It's 9-9, game four. Who's going to win this game? Montoya leading to a semi-berth or Landa leading to a tie break. If that's any indication, it would be Montoya. So he has a one-point lead with that ace serve left side. Landa. Finishes the rally with his backhand. Empate, Diaz Iguales, 10-10. Just what the crowd wanted, Alexis. Tight match. 
excitement, back and forth, quality play, both parties. Winner, forehand, Montoya. No do-overs in racquetball. Keller calls it short, second serve. World Championships for Racquetball will be next month, 20 through 27, August, San Luis Potosi, Mexico. Most of these players will be there. Z Lob right side, ceiling return. Three in a row. And outright winner, right side, forehand. Loose ceiling ball by Landa, cost him. When we return, it'll be Montoya serving 12, Landa 10, Montoya trying to close this out. We'll be back. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a bigger round of applause. He'll give it up. Tuned in to the World Games Racquetball. Rodrigo Montoya, Mexico, serving to Alejandro Landa, USA. 12-10, game four. <laughs> Rally scoring. So call is an ace. There's an appeal. If the call stands, it would be 13-10. Landa's appealing that it was short. If that's the case, it will be overruled, and it will be second serve. Overruled, short serve, second serve, no point scored. No appeal used. Very efficient method of determining the appeal, Alexis. Yes, I do like the uh, video analysis a little bit better for appeals and replays. Just because if we want to be like all the top sports, we got to follow in their lead. They're all doing it, so I can't play. Wide angle, save. Hit it where he isn't. Landa retrieved it. Sportsmanship, the Paisans. Landa's playing for the USA, he's from Mexico. And of course, Montoya from Mexico. So this is an informal towel timeout, referee timeout if you will. When we resume play, it's 13-10 in favor of Montoya. Two points from the match and a berth in the semi tomorrow. Just wanna thank everybody for sending in those stars. We, the IRF is uh, partnered with the Facebook star program all of the donations go directly to your athletes in helping fund them and create bigger and better tournaments for us to compete at. So thank you, we really appreciate it. Thank you, Alexis. 13-10, second serve, Montoya. Izila overhead into the floor. Match point number one here on the show court. 
University of Alabama, Birmingham, Birmingham, Alabama, USA. World Games 2022. Next up will be Longoria and Munoz. Short serve. Z-Lob right side. Left up. There it is. Rodrigo Montoya, Mexico. Three games to one over Alejandro Landa, USA. Montoya will play in one of the two semis in the morning. Thank you for tuning in. The next match will be the ladies' quarters. Longoria and Munoz on the hour. About 20 minutes from now. We're here at UAB. Gary, Alexis, Adrian, Evan, and Pablo. We're signing out. We'll be back in about 20 minutes. Tune in then, folks, on the IRF network.